Glory Olamide here. Welcome to another episode of Glorious Glow Empowerment Podcast. This week is Mental Health Awareness Week and I've been reading from my book titled Behind the Veil. This book is on mental health and why the stigma should be removed from mental health. Thank you as you listen. be reading extracts from the section titled Behind the Cloak of Strongholds. Misdiagnosis and Mistreatment of Mental Health Issues Mistreatment or no treatment at all of mental health issues is still rife. Proper diagnosis in any illness, mental or otherwise, is the key to appropriate treatment and recovery. Misdiagnosis of mental health issues could lead to possible mistreatment or complete absence of treatment for individuals in most African communities. This arises from the stigma attached to the mental illness itself. If you are familiar with typical African community thinking, you will know that most times mental illness is usually acknowledged, generally when the victim becomes violent, incoherent or unstable. While anxiety disorders, depression or erratic behaviors are affective disorders and hardly taken seriously. Having the support of others like family, friends, or clan is a protective factor against mental illness. When it is removed, the result will be a predictable increase in mental illness. While developing countries may have a shortage of mental health professionals, some of the reasons for the mistreatment of mental-related disorders are due to cultural beliefs, ignorance, some forms of overzealous religion, and self-esteem. After all, we have also seen rich people develop depression and commit suicide. If people suffering from mental illness can be adequately diagnosed and treated, the prevalence of such illnesses will be drastically reduced. In fact, almost everyone knows one person who has a mental health issue or another around them. And many people may be living in families or communities with people who have undiagnosed personality disorders. One particular at-risk groups are teens and young adults who may develop anxiety, depression, eating disorders, substance abuse or behavioral problems like oppositional defiance disorder, ODD, and conduct disorder, CD. Especially now with the lockdown, parents need to make sure they are looking after their own mental health as well as checking in on their children to make sure they are not spending too much time on social media and any other type of devices to just ensure that they have a balanced day, mentally, physically, emotionally, everything needs to be looked at. I do hope you have enjoyed this listening to my podcast. Thank you as I come your way again tomorrow with another episode with extracts from my book. mentioned earlier my book is titled behind the veil subheading destigmatization of mental health you can get a copy on amazon type in the book title or simply type in my name glory olamide and the books i have authored will come up thank you for joining me and i do hope you are enjoying my podcast do leave a comment if you have listened to this take care Until I see you again tomorrow for readings from my book. Thank you. Take care and God bless. Bye.